Did you guys know that one time I was on Gary Vee? Stick around and I'm gonna teach you everything that I've learned from Gary. No. Just curious. Kind of My name is Zach Smith. I'm currently a physical therapy student at the University of New Mexico. I am a huge fan of your work and I am so grateful for all of the value that you bring all of us. And I appreciate you taking my question. Um, as a future business owner, I'll be deploying a lot of your strategies to advertise for my business. My question for you is, which platform do you spend most of your time on these days? Man, it's crazy because, you know, that was so long ago that I was on the uh, Ask Gary Vee show. And I was actually on Salty V episode number one because, uh, you know, they had just actually lost a Jets game. So he, he started with this concept of Salty V where he would record these like kind of sad negative episodes. So at the same time, I was a little bit hyped. I was still like, oh, man, that kind of that kind of sucks that I got on Salty V. But, you know, I think his answer was still really good. Um, and it was funny cause like in my question, I was kind of talking about being a future business owner and that was, you know, years and years ago, that was while I was still in school to become a PT. And so, uh, so now I'm here and it's crazy just to kind of look back and, and, you know, see the change and the, the implementation of, of kind of what Gary Vee has taught me over the years, um, and kind of bring it into real life. All right. So here's what I learned from Gary Vee. Number one, right there number one uh is that you have to have macro patience and micro hustle meaning you have to you have to really be patient on the overall outcome and enjoy the process of doing of building of creating versus um you know being like oh i gotta get there you know once i get there i'm gonna be happy because that's never gonna make you happy once you get to that destination there's always a new destination so macro patience, micro hustle, micro hustle, meaning on the day to day, you have to be hustling and, and have some, you know, some, some pep in your step to get where you want to go. The next lesson that I learned is to always be empathetic to people and their situation. You know, people that leave negative comments, uh, people that leave negative reviews, people that have bad things to say about you, you know, typically those type of people are in a bad uh, situation themselves. And so, you know, I've come to feel really bad for people that have that kind of negativity and especially people that, you know, kind of put that negativity out into the world and especially onto individuals, you know, no one deserves any of that negativity. Um, and me personally, I don't have time to leave negativity for people. I've only left five star reviews for people because I understand, you know, what the one star review does to someone. Um, and I also understand that it's, it's really not worth it. And, you know, maybe I just had a bad experience out of all of the times, you know, give them another try. Learn, uh, that there is no perfect content. You know, we look at, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, creators, uh, people who are business owners, they want things to be perfect before they put them out, but nothing's ever perfect. You know, there's always something to tweak. There's always something to change. Uh, so what I do is I just create, you know, you'll notice on these videos, they're not scripted. Um, you know, I'll stumble on words, I'll forget words, you know, but you know, I'm still finding my voice. I'm still in the process of, of putting out enough content. So I'm super comfortable to get onto the camera because it's still difficult for me just to sit here in an empty room uh, with no one that I'm actually talking to besides this camera, you know, trying to envision that everyone that would be watching, you know, trying to envision everyone who would be watching this on the other side of this camera eventually once this, you know, gets published. You know, if you guys have ever watched Gary Vee, you know how motivational and you know how inspiring he is. So I want to leave you with one last thing that he left me, which is if you want to be the best, build the biggest business in town, you know, build the biggest building in town. Don't become the biggest building in town by tearing everyone else down around you. We have enough of that right now in our society of people trying to tear each other down. I think we can all succeed in the abundance 
by building each other up. Thanks for answering. Which platform? Um, I mean, I think, um, what's his name? Zach. Zach, first of all, thanks for the love. Um, Zach, I think the platform, you know, I think it's running the gamut. Uh, Instagram, Snapchat, I still continue to use Twitter. I don't think people understand, like Twitter is still the one place to have unbelievable engagement and I truly believe so much of my world is predicated on engagement. That being said, Snapchat's the place where when I actually reply, I just get so many, God, you know, people go crazy. You know, it's funny, I love the way, the UI and UX of Twitter, I can just get to so many more people than all like the pressing, waiting. The speed in which Snapchat engagement works doesn't allow me to do as many as I'd like to, which is disappointing because the upside of engaging on somebody's Snapchat is holy shit. Whereas on Twitter it's like, thanks. And that's a very big different reaction. I, I would say Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. That's where I'm spending most of my time. You know, I think, uh, I think this is a great opportunity for me to answer a question so many have been asking, which is Instagram stories or Snapchat stories. The answer is both. All four of those platforms have enormous attention for me and so I continue to, to focus on them and, and, and engage and create and pound and, and, and work with my team on, on our strategies and so all four platforms are extremely important to me as the pillar and foundations and so I, there's not one that is you know, dominating. I'm sure if I look at my time of usage, one is greater than the other depending on how I use them but in my mind from a strategy standpoint, um, all four are extremely important and I think for most of you, all four of those and including the LinkedIn, LinkedIn's of the world and Periscope and and the Facebook Lives scenario. I mean, there's just so much opportunity for us to storytell and grind. I just think people need to put in the work and I think they all bring different value for different reasons and that's why I use them.